It's the book of 2 Edges 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakadash. <clears throat> Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Shalom to the whole few like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth with all sincerity. And shalom to those few, few sisters that's getting in order inside these last days as well. Right, coming to the quick video, you know, just um, <laughs> with the title of, because I was, you know, listening to the song earlier on my way to work. Um, but it's that, uh, you can't stop the rain, right? So, you know, I was just thinking about it because, like, you when, when, when in today's time, you know, you have a lot of Jake, right, that don't believe in these prophecies that's going to come to pass. Right. Even though even though that the brothers are out here pushing this truth, right, breaking these scriptures down the correct way, you know, letting you know that we inside those times where we're going to gradually move over to this uh, MOTB system, you know, letting you know that a hey, salvation is, is is shit, you know, away, you know, uh, at hand. It's like, you know, and, and they feel as if they can prevent it. They feel as if they can stay hold on to this dollar. They feel as if they can stay holding on, holding on to. America, right? And they do that by what? Hey, they mock and scoff at the word, man. You know, they they sit here and say we 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 these prophecies not gonna come to pass, or it's not gonna come to pass in, in in our time period, you know. But the signs are right here, man. The signs are right here, and we telling you plain as day, you know. These prophecies are finna come to pass, man. The Lord is not a hypocrite of His own words, man. He's not a hypocrite, period. All right. So it's the Book of Second Nerds, fifteen verse one. It says, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, right? The Lord chosen people are the, are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and Native American Indians. The words of prophecy, right? Prophecy is about to speak on the event before time, right? Which, you know, this right here is that major prophecy right here, like like this one right here. says we are cashless. This right here is one of the um, jobs I go to, you know, and um, deliver to, you know, right here in Atlanta. You know, and this right here is just that MOTB system that's going to be brought forth real soon. Just showing the comparison on how small that small device is, you know. And it's showing you, and you know, this is somewhere centered around um, the cash is going to fall as well. You know, we're going to go into the MOTB system, you know. Um, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Right, and the Lord speak through his servants, the prophets, right? We go to the book of Ezekiel, you know, 3 and 17, you know, supposed to the house of Israel, right? And give them warning from me. You know, and that's what we don't just give you a, a warning, right? We already know warning goes before destruction, right? So you can't say you wasn't warned, you know? It says, um, verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. And that's what we believe. And we believe in the Holy Bible, right? You know, some brothers have the apocrypha on, set aside. So, hey, we have, we believe in both of those, you know? Even though it's one book, but you know they took it out, so therefore you know some brothers have it inside the uh, the red book. You know some people have the sixteen eleven King James version. You know with the apocrypha in it, but we believe inside the whole you know King James Bible, right? So it says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity or right, the disbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee." And that is the whole point of the video. You know, like, hey, you can't stop the rain, man. You can't you can't stop you can't stop the rain. We know these hard times is coming, man. We know Jacob's trouble is coming, man. You know? But the thing is, hey, you better it's better to get up under the um that umbrella, right? Which is Yahweh I was shy. You know, instead of going against the word, man. So when we out there, we don't really so so, so like, you know, that what that to say is like when we out there, we don't really don't care about when people mock and scoff, you know, because really it's not towards us, it's it's towards your high You gotta be you gotta be held accountable for that, man. We just out here to be the messengers. That's it. You know? And that's it. It says, For fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right? The point, A, B, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Why? Because they're going to fuck around and um, fall, into, fall into these traps that Esau Edom got set forth. You know? And, and this right is that major one right here. You know, because we see the crash of the dollar right now. You know, you got banks saying that they, they starting to give people jail time for for not even uh for still using trying to use trying to withdraw cash. You know, you got the you got the um the dollar in America you know decreasing daily. 
to the point it's gonna be it's gonna be um um worthless, you know. And like I say, this this restaurant right here, they're completely cashless. You know, it's a couple more restaurants that I go to, and they're cashless as well, right? But that's just the point, you know. Um, it's proving, you know, hey, how about your mouth shy? It's telling you, hey, these things are going to come to pass, man. Right? That's why you give us discernment on when to see, like, when they're going to actually start popping off. And which we see it right now. That's why I said, hey, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Right? Because they're going to die in on faithfulness anyway. We see, we see it. We clearly see it, man. Right? We we clearly see that people getting their foot shoved back in their mouth, you know, because they want to speak against the word. But, hey, now it's starting to come to pass. Right? So, hey, the best thing you can do is get up under this umbrella of you. How about Shimmy Yahweh Shah? Especially if you're an Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indian. Right? Because you can't stop the rain, but you can't prepare for it. You know? And that's spiritually. Right? Um, Let's write a book of um Isaiah 55, verse 11. It says, So shall my word that... So, like you, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Right? So, hey, with that being said... You know, Yahweh by Shemal Shah, it's a, it's a um, time of discernment with him, man, with these prophecies, right? Because he spoke about it, but he said, we're not coming back up. It won't come back unto him void, right? Meaning without effect, meaning it's going to actually happen, right? Whether you want to believe it or not, right? You can talk shit about it or not, it's going to happen. And he gave us context clues, right? He gave us indications of when these things are going to be close, right? And we see it right now. This is the close we have been for them talking about the crashing of a dollar, man. Right, World War Three, you know. But it says, "So shall my word that be that go forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the, in the thing whereto I sent it." Right, and the Lord is not the author of confusion, man. So whatever He said, it's gonna happen, you know. And we see it right now. <laughs> he doing His works right now, man. Crashing His dollar, hey, getting us closer to the kingdom, man. <gasps> Shlaki. This is my last precept um, in the book of Habakkuk. Um, this is the book of Habakkuk 2. And uh, verse 2, it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. It says that he may run that read of it. You know, and, and that's what we're doing. We're breaking this stuff down. Hey, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade man. Right? We're telling you about, hey, you take this device right here, what's going to happen? Now we telling you the um the time before that when they crashed this dollar, right? You mean straight chaos, cannibalism, you know? It's about to be like a time like never before. And guess who's gonna come in with the with the solution to introduce this right here? Esau Edom. He gonna let he gonna let hells you know just pop off and and he gonna come with the uh the conclusion of having this right here to be implemented. You know he's gonna have uh 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 damn I just had, it slipped in my mind. Damn, it's like you. Yeah. I better read it back over. It may come back to me, Lord William. It says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Right? And and we've seen the crash of the dollar right now. Right? We're we breaking this we breaking this device right here down to the T. Like I say, in every video, we, you know, brothers talk about it, you know, um, about how this is going to be made mandatory. You know, so all in all, hey, the rain is coming, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that rain, I mean, and, you know, that, that destruction, that, that hard times and tribulations, right? Hard adversity, you know? Um, verse 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? This this major prophecy right here, right? Because it's going to go from this, we are cashless, it's a digital and card payments only, please, to you need this to get inside here. That's going to be your ticket. That's going to be your token to get inside access inside America, man. Right, really all over. Right, but it said for the vision yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And and, and he said, Though it tarry, right? Wait for it. And we seen we seen the we he gave us the Lord gave us that good discernment, right? Judgment. So we see that it's coming. And we see that it's 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 not gonna be no next lifetime. We see it's gonna be happening this lifetime. Hey, Lord willing, like the elder and the um the elder um apostle Tahar coined it, right? Twenty twenty three might be the hopeful year of all prophecies coming to pass. Cause that's the discernment that Yahweh Bashim has given given us, man. You know, starting off with them. You know, and we see it. But it says, even though it shall slacken, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. 
I meant to say for the vision yet from the point in time, but at the end it shall speak, right? It's gonna be meaning it's gonna go into effect. You know, it's gonna be played out, right? That rain will be coming. You can get to a time where hey, they're gonna collapse your dollar to what corner you in to receiving this device right here, right? So with that being said, you need this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to sustain you to tell them folks no. You can put them in the guillotine or whatever you gotta do, you know, because of the fact that you're not gonna bow down to this to this system, you know, but.